Hello folks, um, another one of my Scotsman reviews. Um, today it's the Premier box set. It's Hornby, um, released for Marks and Spencer. Um, it is a high detail model, um, released in 2006. And the product, the Hornby, Hornby code is R1082. And um, Flying Scotsman is in this lovely blue. 60103 and early crest. Now, this one did actually come with a uh, track mat or oh, track pack A and B. Um, and obviously, the three coaches there are ex Gresley coaches, and they do look fantastic. We'll get to them in a minute. Um, so I say it's uh, a, a, a nice big old box. I mean, it's very square, um, not not like normal Hornby ones, which tend to be quite long and thin. Um, but yeah, you, know, you can see the original price is still on here, two two nine, relatively expensive. Um, oops. But uh, I say it's 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 great. I mean, this one has been run. Um, I've got a video of it running. I'm gonna try and upload it at the same time. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is a uh, the set is based as Scotsman was in 1950. Um, she didn't have the blue livery for very long. When I was at Railfest, I asked the guy um, who was basically with her. Um, they said uh, in the near future she will be changing her livery. Or well, maybe not near future. It's probably a year or two. I think they're going to do it one of two ways. They're going to do it so people can watch, or actually allow you to pay to go off and paint her. Now I reckon that that pay to go and paint one, I'll actually travel. I mean, I'm about 200 miles away from York. I'll travel that that distance just to paint a bit of her. Um, obviously, I'd probably have to paint over her again. But you know, just the, the to be able to say I've painted Scotsman, you know, that'd be fantastic. Um, I say I hope everyone saw her at Railfest. Hope you all went. Um, she does look stunning, even though she's not entirely finished yet. But um, hope you will see her soon. Um, but yeah, you know, let's get on with unboxing it. Um, I actually just put this on here for the time being. Um, for the track, the actual box set is that. Marks and Spencer. And there's these nice drawers. I'm just going to start off with the bottom drawer. Um, which has got in the track, as you'd imagine. It does come with a, a foam top. Um, just protect it. I always try to keep them on. Um, it also comes with... I mean, this is... I was completely unaware of this set. I mean, I knew this set existed. Because I've, I've seen a blue train um, for sale. Um, the, oh, her, the locomotive for sale, and I've always thought, oh my goodness, set. And uh, some of them come in in one of these drawers, um, but as a set, I've not seen one for sale. I saw one, and snapped it up immediately. Um, one other thing, as opposed to everything being loose, um, or like the Princess Elizabeth in a big massive fold out, um, they give you a magazine. And yes, you get Virtual Railway. Um, you get all the, the bits and pieces inside. Um, the big fold-out thing that Princess Elizabeth has, but the owner's manual is smaller. You get a bit, oh yeah, little bits. Um, the track mat is actually missing from this, but I'm not too bothered if I'm honest. Um, I'll stick that back on there. Hopefully, there we go. That's it then. Right. Now, this is a bit, I've seen this bit on sale, for, on eBay for sale, um, I believe there's um, no sort of, I've, I've tried to find out, because everywhere I look it says limited edition, but no one has any number, so I'm not too sure, I think it's just a special edition, which is fine. So I'm going to open her up, Take, and then you got this uh, foam insert. That can either stay in the in the box or not, but I'll decide to take it out. 
and there she is. She is locomotive drive. Um, she is super detailed. I mean, just have a look at the valve gear there. Um, lovely. Um, let me get her out of the box. So for loco drive, she's pretty heavy. And again, like some of the the uh, wartime black and the green one I did, these back wheels are bald. I like to say, um, they're flat. They haven't got the ridges on. Um, that says you can go around tight corners because obviously this back brake you see here is all fixed. Um, I'm not sure why they did that, but hey, they have. Just make it on. Uh, the tender, again, exactly the same as the uh, wartime black and the green one, uh, and exactly like them, they got the hole there, so you can take the coal out and you're left with the chute, which is always good. You can see the detail on here, just quickly. Um, it's, it's, it is stunning. I mean, you got the British Rail early emblem. I said this was 1950 apparently, according to the box. Um, uh, it isn't a corridor tender. You don't have anything in the top here, which where the corridor usually is down there. Um, there is no corridor. Um, actually, looks like the back of Mallard's um, tender at the moment, but slightly different tint of blue. Um, the buffers are sprung. We have got. The narrow bendy couplers. Um, real quick, I think. There any? I'm um, not too sure. Not too familiar with couplings. Um, I watched IC82's video on them, and it helped a lot, but I, uh, I haven't actually started them properly. I'm just going to stick some on the track. Again, all these wheels are fixed. So, it's on. Uh, okay, just to show you the cab detail. Yeah, again, it's exactly the same. I mean, you've got the two bucket seats, um, all with gauges. Um, the same as the wartime black and the 2011 return to steam model. There is one floor, at least one floor probably, um, but one that I've noticed. This is an A3 locomotive. As she's a three, the driver would not be sat on the right. He'd be sat on the left. It's made uh, the fireman's job a bit harder. Um, it came with the A3 conversion. She um, got changed over from left uh, right-hand drive to left-hand drive. The reason for that is because the driver driving along would have much better view of the signals, which would be up here. So, um, they changed it, made the, you know, made it a bit safer and everything. Now, without looking in the cab, you can tell that, because on this side, you've got the handrail and that's it. Whereas on this side, you've got the handrail and the vacuum, I think it's the vacuum pipe. Um, just right in there. So... Yeah, that's that one. Um, I say she is a stunning loco. She is a loco drive. Let's stick her on. Go on, go on there. There we go. Okay, what I do is I stick your tender down. Now, uh, unlike the 2011 one, there is no clip between the, cut, the tender and the, the loco. Um, but I'm going to take a little bit of time and just. So, I mean, uh, she's stunning. She's stunning in every way, same as the, the green and the black. Um, after I finish my rake of Flying Scotsman videos, I will pull all them out and put them all next to each other. Maybe do a little bit of a history lesson. Um, well, you know, just put them in chronological order. And, uh, well, see what, see what, see what comes, to, comes to mind. Again, the front couplings, like the green one, I mean, these are very similar. Um, there are three bits. It does actually say A3 there. And uh, 
that tiny little lettering there says Doncaster. So, yeah, she's a uh, nice and detailed. I mean, everything. I mean, there is one floor along here. There should be a rod along here. No, along that side, there should be a rod. Sorry, which has fallen off. I've still got it. Um, I will repair it soon. Um, but uh, I mean, it's wrong way to the front as well. So uh, this we'll see. Uh, I'll do a nice. Let's try and get a nice video. Nice video. There we go. I'll try and get uh, all of them together, as I say. Um, yeah, I'll give me all the all the numbers and and everything. Um, just to try and make it all better. Right, moving on. We now have to move on to the second box. Or well, third, actually. What could be in here, I wonder? Just put that well, that is locomotive. To make it a train, I need coaches which are annoying me upside down. Now as I say these are X Gresley. Um, they are super detailed apparently and they've got a nice lovely colour scheme to them. Again these have the narrow cut things as well. So I'm just going to put out one of them. I'll put out all three in a minute. This is your average coach. I mean, this isn't, this one's not first class or anything. Um, so this is your standard scumbag coach. Um, not really. You got a lovely flying Scotsman across the top there. Um, you got, I mean, the, the detail around the, around the wheels as well. I mean, it's it's a lot. I should really put out the uh, the old teak ones. I mean, the other thing about these ones is even the buffers on these are sprung. See that? Sprung buffers on coaches. What is the world coming to? Um, again, the detail on them is outstanding. Um, Finely shaped buffers. And moving on. You have, in fact, in the windows got little signs. Uh, I can't actually read what they say. Um, someone can help me. You can see inside the uh, seats are red, and the corridor is all painted inside. So I mean, even inside the details there. Uh, so they are absolutely stunning coaches. Let's just put this on the rails there. There you go. Even she. Runs almost a bit too easily, actually. I'm sure there's not a slope in there. Just a bar under there. Yeah. Typically now she's going to roll backwards. Ah, there we go. So that's one of the coaches. Bring out the second one. Uh, I would have done what I do with the Princess Elizabeth and had them all set up, but I think in these boxes they look a bit nice. Right. Now this is a first class car. See all the lovely number ones on the door. And again with the detail on the, the wheels. And even the couplings. Um, they're, uh, they're nice and narrow ones, they're bendy, you got, you got the, the buffers there, you got all the detail around the door as well. I mean, uh, you've even got a knob there and it's they're fantastic. You've got a code as well. 11011, which this one was, there you go. One two six one two. Uh, so this is a first class one. Um, you notice in the first class, if you can actually see, um, possibly not, um, because they're quite dark. They are actually blue. All the seats in here are blue. So there you go. I'll just put these back down. This one doesn't all run so smoothly. I'm not sure why, but yeah. Right, now moving on to the brake.
Oops. No escaping. We have, I say it is XLNR, the, there are some differences, some things blanked off, some aren't. You've got first class, the standard. This one is where you can see the difference inside if the camera will show you, which, don't know about this camera at the moment, might not. So you've got dark blue, which you can't really see, and red, Let's try to go from this side. You can just about see the red. Moving along, you can just about see the dark blue. There's a difference between first class and well, everything else. Really, come out today. So I'll stick that down there as well. Uh, let's see. I've got a video of them running. I've her running. I upload it with this. Um, so she's stunning with her coaches. Um, so I'll upload the video, try and upload both of them together, try and link them together. Um, I don't have any editing software because this is an iPhone 4. Um, and it, Windows and iPhones don't really go together too well. Um, but that is the set. Um, something I didn't point out earlier was the controller the analog controller they give you which is the H2000 which is the double um, thing double two two outputs um, which is a good thing because uh, I really hate the old ones and um, Princess Elizabeth has a new style um, I've since bought another set which has a new style in it was fairly cheap um, I will be doing a review on that and uh, um, I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> um, it's not limited edition. It's relatively special, I suppose. But no, I'm blabbering on. All right, so um, I'll say I'll, I'll upload these together. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, yeah, thank you.